We love a geek weekend at Harvey Norman. I'm here with my favorite technology expert, Charlie Brown. And Charlie, this is the Samsung ES8000 Smart TV. This looks really smart. It's a beautiful looking TV, very thin bezel. It looks fantastic in any lounge room. But I think at, the, at its most basic, plug the internet into this TV and the adventure really begins. And you know, talk about an adventure in the internet. Look at all these apps. Yeah, there's over 350. Uh, at the moment, but they're creating new apps all the time. They've got apps in the area of, of streaming television services and streaming movie services. They've got um, fitness apps, they've got news and social media apps for Facebook and Twitter, those kinds of things. Look, the app environment is, it's not as big as some of the tablets and, um, and, and smartphones that you've got out there, but look, it's growing and it started later for smart TV than it did for those kinds of devices. So I imagine this being a smart TV, I don't have to use my remote control. No, exactly right. There's a couple of methods you can use. You can use voice activation. And look, you need an environment that, that doesn't have a lot of loud noises in it, obviously already, uh, to use voice. But you, you can wake it up, you can change channels, you can do a whole bunch of things using voice. Um, but then you can use gesture control as well, which is which is even more um, enjoyable, I think, than voice. With gesture, to use it effectively, have your hand open flat in the sweet spot of the television uh, so the camera can pick it up. Close it tightly, and that's like clicking a mouse or tapping on the screen if you're using a, a, you know, a touch screen or a, or a mouse for your PC. And, and what it allows you to do is play games such as Angry Birds using gesture. You can control the smart hub, navigate around that. But gesture means if you get up in the morning and you haven't found your remote, for example, you can use voice to wake the television up and use gestures to then control the television from in the, in the lounge room. It's very clever. So this TV has got the ability to evolve. Yeah, exactly. For the next two or three years anyway, what Samsung has done is they've built into it the Evolution Kit, which is a small slot in the back of the TV, and you plug in an Evolution Kit into that slot. And what it means is that uh, if they add functionality to their TVs next year or the year after or the year after, they'll build that functionality into that kit so you can put it into this TV just by clicking it into that slot. It's really quite a clever idea and it sort of gets you past that whole concern of but next year there'll be a whole new TV experience. Why don't I wait to then? Because Samsung's going to build it into the kit you'll be able to plug it into this TV and take advantage of it. So for one of the smartest smart TVs we've ever seen, head into Harvey Norman Geek Weekend and check out the Samsung ES8000.